Hello and welcome to Mock Productions, you're here with me Matthew and we are back with more Skylander Superchargers news. This is another update video full of stuff from Comic Con. Um, and also the fact that it has actually come out from outside of Comic Con rather impressively. Um, and I actually can't wait to do a little bit of exploring myself and hopefully bring up some hands-on stuff which I might be able to go through hands-on. However, let's start with this, Skylanders Eons Elite. Now, the first lot came out last year with Trap Team, um, and they were all sort of regular favourites. You had Spyro, you had Whirlwind, Eruptor, all them sort of, uh, sorts of bits and bobs. This time, oh, it's different. Oh, it is. Um, these look incredibly interesting, and the reason is that they're not just recolours or just a rebase recolour sort of thing. They are different. They are completely different. You can see three here already. One of which I've never got before. Uh, we've got Boomer. We've got Ghost Roaster. And we also have the Water Element whose name escapes me. Um, but they really do look so awesome. Slam Bam, that's his name, sorry. Um, Slam Bam. Uh, but they really do look super cool. I really like the colours coming off of these signature sort of weapons which they're holding um, they seem to be reposed I, I believe it, it looks slightly reposed or at least they've got these extra weapons and recolored sort of stuff on them but it, it looks so cool um, Ghost Roaster looks amazing with that chain whip coming all the way around you've got some sort of sledgy surfboard for Slam Bam and then these almost golden bombs for Boomer. Um, now, obviously, there's not a lot of difference really um, with these. They're, so, you know, they're Eons Elite. They've got the gold bases, but they definitely look very interesting. So hopefully, we'll be able to see some of these uh, coming up. But what's basically been announced is this. This is basically a little bit of a uh, summary. Uh, the packaging includes a display case, we already know that, with a 3D lenticular background. Lenticular, if you didn't know, was when you move a 3D background, it moves as well. And will include v Voodoo, Zook, Slam Bam, Ghost Roaster, Boomer, and Dino Rang. Now, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six there, so that means there's eight, there's two more left, if they want all the elements. Now, it looks as if these are the ones that haven't sort of come back before. Zook and Slam Bam did. The rest of them, they didn't. No, as, as, no, that was it. Slam Bam and Zook came back for Giants and that was it. So they're sort of redoing them and slightly giving them extra weapons. Now, I like this. I like this a lot because if, if this is going to be the case for all of them and they're going to have their own different weapons, even if they're like coloured differently or they're sized differently or whatever, something like that, they're going to be pretty cool and I am definitely going to think about picking these guys up, um, especially seeing as they're almost going to be like a Series 2 version. So that is some very, very interesting news right there. Uh, now moving on to something even more important, let's go to this. Now basically what this is, um, this is just a certain part of the packaging for the actual game. So basically at the moment, um, in most of the stores which supply all these, um, there are like fake boxes in a way. So they're coloured in as if they were going to be um, the actual game, but then at the front there is a picture instead of plastic of the figures and that the figures aren't inside. So they're just like fake boxes which you would probably take up to the counter and say, can I pre-order this? These are looking pretty cool. But you can see here, you've got, we've seen this before, we've got the combo packs, which is obviously here we've got Terrafin and we've got the Shark Tank, looking really, really awesome there. Moving down, however, we've got this. Now, I am super excited for this. Trophies. There seems to be villain trophies. Now, they've done this with Chaos, with the Chaos Trap, and it came out with a Dark Edition as a massively sized trap. Probably going to be the trophy version as well. I'm guessing they're going to make a Chaos version either of one trophy on its own or in a combo pack with something. But I don't really know how that would work seeing as there's no Chaos element um, being displayed. But you can see here the Reef Ripper, you've got uh, Deep Dive Gilgrunt, and you've also got a Golden Queen trophy. 
and you can see if you can see on the packaging up on the top right you can actually see the golden queen sort of with her staff and she's sort of pointing in a boat now it looks kind of like a banana so it's probably a banana boat let's go with that um, and it does look really cool. So she's got this golden boat. Now also in the corner, you're probably not going to be able to read this. It basically says it adds additional racing tracks and also lets you race as a villain. So this is going to be an awesome extra. It's sort of like Adventure Packs, but completely different. The trophies are looking really cool. Um, if I kept zooming in on this, I would have got nowhere because it, it would just got zo um, too blurry. But you can see from the trophy that you could see Golden Queen's face, very much like uh, the Chaos one, you can see his face and then there's actually like trophy handles and a little top and everything to make it dec uh, decorative. Um, you've got water coming out of the edge of it, but this is really cool and I'm hoping that this comes out with Wave 1. Fingers and toes are crossed. So moving on, this is the back of the box. Now you're probably going to be like, whoa, 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 too much, too much information. Well, there kind of is. Um, so there is a lot going on here but it does look super cool basically it's just describing what the game entails and what features are in there and different characters you can see are on the bottom some of them you're like who are they well I'll be showing them don't worry um, but there are certain features of this this part which we haven't seen before one being if I zoom in here you can see all these different things here it says play with friends but up above in bold letters, new online multiplayer race, a slash sl or an and, if you want to put that as an and, it is an and, but it could be a slash, could have been a slash, but it doesn't matter, and co-op mode. Now, this is going to be awesome. If this is what everyone is probably going to be thinking it is, if this is going to be being able to like go into a race with about eight different online people, maybe 16, maybe 32, however many, maybe 168 in one race and make it like an F1 race, I don't know. But this is going to be super awesome. Multiplayer racing, not just playing against AIs and winning every time, no, you have actual competition, multiplayer racing and co-op. It hasn't said just a co-op mode, it said multiplayer race and co-op mode, which means, could this be a multiplayer co-op? Never seen before in Skylanders. This might actually make sense, seeing as there aren't a lot of Skylanders. Not really a lot of features going on, but this is making up for it entirely. Um, so, fingers and toes are crossed. Okay, so, so moving on from that, we've got these. Now, you're probably like, oh my gosh, and I was like that as soon as I saw these, because this is awesome. There is no other words that can describe it. It is extraordinary, it is colourful, it is vibrant, it is unique, it is just mind-boggling how many different sorts of boats and things and characters and extras can be incorporated into all these returning and new Skylanders, but this is awesome. So, we learnt that, that that pink thing there, what looked like a ram, was splat. It is in, indeed splat. The boat, which has been seen on a majority of the pictures, uh, at the beginning we saw it in the sort of logo thing, is called the Splatter Splasher. That's pretty cool. Next to her, we have Big Bubble Pop Fizz. That looks pretty cool. He looks as if he's trying to do some sort of music with a massive trombone microphone coming off of his head. Something in his mouth, which looks probably like the trombone is coming round there. His cheeks have like blown up, but it, it, it still looks like Pop Fizz. And that is the main thing, is that you want to be able to see that it is a returning character. Big Bubble Pop Fizz with his soda skimmer. That thing looks amazing. It's basically a hovercraft, but it looks very, um, oh, it looks very ancient, mystical, very ma magical as well. It, it, it's just, you can see that straight away. You don't even have to know that it's a magic element. You can see that, and it does look absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, down below, we can see these two, which we've already seen before, the Reef Ripper, and we've got Deep Dive Gil Grunt. We've also got Dive Clops there with the Dive Bomber. So all of this already is so awesome. 
Moving over, we've got these. Now, finally, we have a name for the motorcycle for Eruptor, and also his full name, the Burn Cycle. That is just so cool. Ah, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, the la the Lava Lance Eruptor. That's basically his name. Uh, you can see that he's basically got some sort of well. It it's a lance. It is a lance coming off of um, his fist. It's sort of connected via some sort of metal thing. But he's got some sort of attacking lance there. But that looks so cool. Next to him, you've got Spitfire and Hot Streak. Down below, then, Thrillipede. This guy looks so awesome. He just He's in such an amazing pose. And that vehicle, that vehicle, that vehicle is just so cool. Buzzwing. They fit very well together. You can see that they obviously go together, but the the, the vehicle itself it looks very bug like, and I, I and it, that it just oh it's just so cool. I really just want to see a picture of it, you know, actually in hand. I want to be able to see it. Um, next to that, we've got uh, Super Shot Stealth Elf, um, and also the the helicopter, which I did say it was going to be, and it is the Stealth Stinger. Um, it does look extremely much like a, almost looks like a P, which is being turned into a helicopter. Um, but I have to say, this is all looking so, so cool. It's just, oh, it's so awesome. So awesome. And then moving over, we've got this. We've obviously seen uh, the, the one half, or at least a quarter of this before. The other three quarters we've never actually seen in figure or vehicle form, and I have to say, Sea Shadow and Nightfall, they're looking extraordinarily awesome. Still on the fence whether Nightfall is a female or a male. The hook and the deadly look makes it look male, but the hair makes it look female. The colours as well make it look female as well, so I'm... I'm on the fence about that one, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but let me know your own sort of opinion about Nightfall, male or female, let me know. Astro Blast, now that one I think was brought up, the name was brought up, this one looks pretty cool, he almost looks very much like Luminous. Um, hopefully that's not the whole situation where Luminous is like taken over this guy, but he does look really cool. Um, now I don't know whether he's leaning back or he's surfing on that engine. But it looks as if he's about to fall off of the uh, the actual um, base itself. But that that just looks so cool, so super duper cool. And this vehicle, I don't know, I don't know what sort of thing it is. It, it's obviously a, um, a sky vehicle, but it does it just it just looks menacing. It looks like the sun. It looks as if it should just be placed up in the sky. And there you go, it's a proud little sun up there. It just looks so awesome. Um, I, I, I've got no words for it, it's just all these different spikes and everything. I don't know what the feature would be for that one. Maybe you can push all the spikes in and maybe there's a button and they all expand or something. That would be awesome, actually, if everything from the vehicle squishes inside. Push a button and it all blows up and explodes. That would be pretty cool. A lot of people, I think, might be very happy if that happened. But moving on to this. Now, what am I showing you here? Well, this is apparently the sort of predictions or what has been leaked on certain websites as wave one now some of this i understand and some of this i think what what's going on what is going on anyway these are all of the superchargers themselves you've got dive clops which fair enough that one i think deserves to be wave one nightfall seeing as it now is in the dark thing it makes sense High Vault, which is the one that uh, is shown down there. We uh, went through it in a previous update. Not 100% sure if I would have chose that one, but there we go. That's what they've chosen. Stormblade, that would have been obvious. Smash It. What the heck is Smash It? For me, that sounds like an Earth element. Because all we've got left now is an Earth and a Tech to be revealed. And we, we know every single one then. We're ready to go. We're just ready for it to like come out, grab the box, plug it in, and get going. Um, Fiesta, yeah, I'll be happy to see that one, uh, Wave 1. Shark Shooter Terrafin, definitely seen as they've showed us the combo packs. Um, so that totally makes sense. Little am I surprised that there is no Bowser, no Donkey Kong, or no... Spitfire. 
None of them. Neither is Stealth Elf, which I find really... Oh, no. Why would it be Stealth Elf? Why would there be Stealth Elf? Duh. She comes out in the starter pack. Duh. Um, well, uh, <laughs> I guess it sort of makes sense, but I just don't know about High Vault. Especially Smash It. We don't know anything about High Vault or Smash It. I would have expected maybe Trigger Happy or Splat or something like that. But no. But this is all leaked. It doesn't mean it's 100% true. But seeing as it's gone up on sites, maybe it is. Um, anyway, moving on. We've got this as well, which is basically the vehicles. This slightly intrigues me as well. Um, we've got Jetstream. Hurricane Jetvac isn't even in Wave 1. We've got Sea Shadow. Nightfall is there, so that's fair enough. Shark Tank. Makes sense. Sky Slicer. Makes sense. S stents? Okay. Uh, the Stealth Sting. Seen as Stealth Elf needs a vehicle. That makes sense. Crypt Crusher. That makes sense. Burn Cycle. That doesn't make sense. Because Eruptor. Can you see Eruptor there? No, I can't. Um, <clears throat> we've got Nightfall. We haven't even got High Vault's vehicle yet. We haven't even got Smash It's. So, this means... That if this is wave one, we're going to be having uh, Eruptor and Jetvac's vehicle before we've even got them. And two random people called High Vault, which we know of, and Smash It, who were just going to be waiting for their vehicles. Now, personally, I would have th thought that it made perfect sense to have Jet Jetvac come out and then Eruptor so that we can have all those combos ready to go. However, this is my thought. This is only wave one. Now, last year, it was wave one and two together. So is wave two going to fill in this gap straight away, seeing as it only comes out maybe, a, what was it, two weeks ago? Well, I mean, it all came out one day, and it was like, whoa, it's all here. Um, so, hopefully, we're going to have some proper confirmation of wave one and two. But personally, I think that they're okay choices. I personally, though, would have said, get Jetvac and get Eruptor in. Fine, sorted. Because you're bringing out new, you're bringing out old, you're sorting all the different crowds out, which is the main priority here. But it is interesting how all of these have come up, and I am excited to see um, all of the ones here. Minus High Vault and Smash It, seen as we haven't seen a lot of them yet. Um, but who knows, this is just Wave 1, it doesn't mean that Wave 2 could be just around the corner and just let us know. But... That is pretty cool. Let me know, though, your own opinion on what you would like to see in Wave 1. Is it what this list says? Are you slightly confused at the list? Or have you got a completely different list that you want maybe just Trigger Happy to come out in Wave 1 and nothing else? Not even his vehicle? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but, of course, you can subscribe for more news updates. I enjoy doing them. So it's just fantastic to be able to um, explore the possibilities of this this game, this series, and especially the feedback which is given. Um, it starts conversations, which is exactly what I wanted, so it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, you know, subscribe for more of these uh, news updates and also the gameplay, which will be coming out in September 25th. We've got a lot of stuff still to come. Gameplay still coming out. We've got unboxing still going. Um, and I will be bringing back Splatoon at one point. So, pretty cool there. So guys, if you have enjoyed this, obviously you can do exactly what I just said. Comment, subscribe, and rate the video so I know you're enjoying the series of these news updates. I will see you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.